big storm system that we've been actually watching for the last couple of days. The cold front moved through our region on Tuesday. Now it's really tapped into a whole lot of moisture. All this rain from Arkansas up through Michigan, parts of New York State, and back down through the Carolinas, even eastern Georgia, out in Augusta, where some really heavy rain is just now tapering off. But there's a chance of thunderstorms there a little bit later this afternoon. So lots to watch out east. For us, clearing skies being found here on our satellite composite. This is as those clouds are starting to move eastward. I think they'll be clearing central Missouri by sunrise today, but even with the clearing, the strong winds have overtaken the area. We're talking wind gusts this morning about 25 close to 30 miles per hour with the stronger winds about 30 in Cameron and 28 miles per hour from Olathe to downtown Kansas City. So I see that continuing through the remainder of the day. There are a couple hours where we might be closer to 40 miles per hour this afternoon. Just something to be aware of. Luckily, I do see way more sunshine in the forecast today compared to yesterday. We are in the lower and middle 50s across the board. Notice with that northwesterly component to the wind, we're going to look and see what these temperatures are going to be doing to our north and west. Looks like we've all fallen to 51 St. Joe, Atchison, Leavenworth, KCI, 48 cooler there, Maryville. So we're likely going to drop maybe another degree or two before the sun comes up, only to reach the low 60s this afternoon. If you had some moments today to get outside, get some of that fresh air, you will want a light jacket, maybe that windbreaker as we're talking about some strong wind gusts throughout the day today, but luckily the sunshine is out, so sunglasses definitely will be needed for a walk in the park. 65 degrees downtown, 62 Maryville, 65 degrees in Pleasanton, a couple degrees below average today with that strong northwesterly component of the wind, but still a little bit of rainfall missing us to the northeast, Iowa and Illinois. And then Friday really ends up to be a fantastic day. The wind dies down. I'm seeing a lot of sunshine in the forecast and temperatures tomorrow that'll get to get up to about 70 degrees Saturday and Sunday. Noticing those highs very summer like even June like as I'm talking way more humidity on Sunday. I feel like it's so early to talk about that, but yeah, there might be a little bit of a mugginess factor to the forecast on Sunday and on Sunday too, the wind dies down. So it's gonna be very, uh, very June like for us by the weekend. Chance of thunderstorms ramping up early next week too. We've got to watch this. All the area highlighted in yellow could see that slight chance of some stronger storms, but luckily it'll be coming in nighttime. So Monday night into Tuesday morning, so that will limit kind of the impacts that we see with it or several days out. So we have to watch and see how that continues to trend guys.